in this presentation we will be covering the very important topic for the pharmaceutical personnel who are working in the documentation team or doing the investigations of uh, deviation osot or the market complaints or any other non conformances this presentation is going to be very useful for the person who are handling the investigations in the pharma industry and who want to learn the technical writing or the investigation writing in pharma industry there are four main reasons to watch this presentation completely first with the information in this presentation you will be able to handle or write any investigation raised through the deviation osot or market complaint with the information in this presentation you can make your investigation more presentable you will be able to understand the key components of the investigation write up and there are few tips and the tricks given in this presentation which will improve your technical writing skills in pharmaceutical industry investigations can be get triggered by the various triggering factors deviations are the most common triggering factor for the investigations along the deviation we perform the investigation for os and ot observations we perform the investigation of market complaint audit observation self inspection and other non conformance reports also what are the basic components or the basic part of investigation template first it start with the problem in brief then immediate actions or the response action taken against the deviation or the non conformance then investigation team details the person who are actually involved in the investigation that we are listing here then review up previous history to check the reoccurrence of the similar kind of incidences in previous history then investigation details or the investigation findings part then root cause part next corrective and preventive actions part impact assessment part summary and conclusion part then attachment part and post approval it is very important to write problem statement in precise accurate and appropriate manner while writing the problem statement or the problem in brief it should answer the questions of who where what and when problem statement should answer the question of who identified the particular incidents or the deviation where did that happen what exactly happened and when it was happened while writing the problem statement do not attempt to give the answer of why it should be a part of your investigation details part and root cause part problem statement should be a clear short and understandable by the layman or the new person to the system to make problem statement conclusive mention the acceptance criteria or the standard next important part is immediate actions immediate actions are the response actions or the quick responses given to the deviation or any other non conformance like market complaint osot or the audit observation immediate actions are taken to avoid undesirable impact or further complications of observed non conformance these immediate actions are basically taken to save other units or further impact on the batch processing and undesirable impact on equipment also immediate actions are taken based on the equipment or the process knowledge of officer operator involved in the batch processing immediate actions are directly taken in consultation with sme or the hod officially deviation or the qms document raising is not mandatory at the immediate action stage in case if the any breakdown happens or any pc discussion or particular matter discussion happens during the batch processing then some actions are taken to arrest or to respond the observation that may include equipment maintenance engineering intervention stoppage of the batch processing activities additional samplings these are come into the immediate actions category please don't mix this immediate actions taken with the kappa actions and kappa actions shall be separately mentioned or separately assessed and shall be a part of investigation report
before starting with the actual investigation it is very important to form the investigation team in the investigation team formation we should identify the SMEs from the different department to perform the investigation SMEs from the different departments like engineering production quality control IT R&D shall be included in the investigation team based on the problem description in case of we are doing the investigation for the equipment breakdown engineering person shall be a part of investigation team in case of we are doing the investigation at the shop floor for the low batch yields or other production related issues then production SME shall be a part of investigation team for quality control issues like lower assays or the testing related we should inform quality control person to be a part of investigation team and in case of we are doing the investigation related to data loss or the IT related issues IT person shall be a part of investigation team in case of R&D related issues that is product behavior we should include the person from the R&D in investigation team prior to start with the actual investigation the investigation team shall sit together and form a one investigation plan to go ahead review of previous history is also important in the investigation process in the investigation of any deviation or any other non-conformance like OSOT market complaint we are doing the previous history evaluation for the understanding of the reoccurrence of that particular incident for the previous history evaluation we should include or we should use uh, appropriate keywords during the review that keywords shall be picked up from the deviation description or the non-conformance descriptions itself data of most commonly a 24 months is reviewed as a part of previous history most of the industries are practicing with the 24 months because the 24 month gives a enough data or enough trend in the previous history review of similar type of non-conformance shall be done during this stage and here we should analyze the whether that particular incidence is reoccurring or what are the root cause identified during the previous investigations and the kappa actions taken against the previous investigations in case of these are the recurring type of incidences then the appropriate kappa failures shall be documented and make them a part of the investigation now we will move to our main content that is the observations or the investigation details part in this part we mention the investigation findings in an appropriate manner or a presentable manner while writing this part we should keep in mind that this part will be read the QA person or any other auditor from the regulatory agencies so required background information shall be mentioned appropriately while writing the investigation we should follow the chronology of events happened and it should be a in a storytelling format from the regulatory agencies it is expected to use investigation tools to come to the root causes here simple investigation tools like 5i analysis brainstorming we can use for the investigation as per the investigation requirements Fishbone tool of investigation or 5i analysis are the most commonly used investigation tools in the pharmaceutical industry while writing the investigation we should use the table the diagrams appropriately these things makes our investigation more presentable whenever we are putting any data in the investigation with the reference of any other document we should attach the photocopy of that and a reference shall be given in the investigation pictorial presentations and flowcharts also can be used in the investigation that makes the investigation easily understandable after the investigation details part the next part is root cause or the assignable cause part here we should mention the exact root cause identified in case if the exact root cause is not identified mention about the probable root causes identified always complete this section with a single paragraph with the two or three sentences keep this section as small as possible After identification of root cause, it is important to assign appropriate kappa actions 
for the root causes here the difference between the correction corrective actions and preventive action is very important corrections are the response actions or the immediate actions taken against the observed observations whereas corrective actions are proposed actions which will avoid the reoccurrence of same or the similar incidents on the same system whereas the preventive actions are proposed actions which will avoid the occurrence on a probable systems while writing this part don't mention about the immediate action taken against the deviation or the discrepancy always make two parts while writing this section that is corrective actions and the preventive actions classify the corrective and preventive actions appropriately and correctly next important part is impact assessment while performing the impact assessment of deviation divide it in a three basic parts first evaluate and mention the impact on the batch in which the deviation has happened secondly evaluate and mention the impact on the previously manufactured batches and in third part evaluate and mention the probable impact on the upcoming manufacturing or the upcoming analysis next important part is summary and conclusion whenever there is less time to read the deviation then auditor or the reviewer directly go to the summary and conclusion part in the summary and conclusion part all the key points in the investigation shall be covered key points may include root cause identified corrective and preventive actions and impact assessment next part is attachment part while performing the investigation we always refer the other documents here that documents photocopy shall be attached to the investigation for the ready reference here attachments may include photocopy of bmr or bpr photocopy of equipment calibration certificates photocopy of log books service notes raised during the investigation or equipment or instrument data printouts lastly but very important part is post approval part here we have to take the signatures of the all key personnel involved in the investigation involve all the key members involved in the investigation in the post approval post approval shows the agreement from the all the depart on the impact assessment performed and the capa actions to be performed thank you for watching video subscribe to channel for more informative videos on pharmaceutical industry